and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show how easy it is to convert the HTNS-PD25HP server power supply to 13.8 volts. Right, uh, only four screws to undo. And the cover unhinges. It comes off. And here we can see the circuit board. Well, I thought I'd just give a few little ideas of how I worked out what the pot was. As, as you can see, there is a, a pot there, a pot there, and then right over to the right, there's another one there. Now at this stage, I hadn't realized that there's a cutout here, and these two are, are accessible from the outside, which have made life a little easier. What I looked for, of course, we have a positive output, and of course, we have a negative output. We have some sort of control. I should really write this bigger. And that control voltage obviously comes from a potentiometer, one of these, or that one. So what I looked for was I looked at the three pots at their two extreme legs and I looked for some form of resistance I found there was a resistor there and I looked for a, a resistive connection to the output and the ground on the pots because being DC it has to be a solid DC path they can't be capacitors in the way and things like that what I found was that pot did not have any resistive elements linking it to the outside and neither did that one so that pot must have been it because it was the only one that fulfilled the connections to the outside world but it had this resistor here, RX. And what I did was I jumped, uh, you know, sort of a decade resistance box across that resistor. It set at a high value. I think I set it at something like 10K. And then slowly brought the value down watching here the output and as that value came down the output went up and when I got to about 13.6 volts I then looked at the standard value resistors I think I used 1% because that's the surface mount ones I got and so I went through the standard resistor values to pick one that gave me as close to 13.6. because I wanted to have a little bit of fiddle room. And that's how I went about picking the resistor. I would have shown that, but I seem to have lost that bit of video. I seem to have lost a few videos on this uh, for this one. So I hope you don't, don't mind and bear with me. So I'm just throwing these ones in quick. Right, here we can see the adjust pot. Oops, trying to do it there. That's the voltage adjustment pot. And what you'll see me doing in a minute is I tack a wire onto the bottom pin there to ground. 
with a decade resistance box and I adjust it until I get the control to be able to get up towards 13.8 volts and then I just find a place for that resistor that's the same value as the substitution box to tack on to that point. What I'm trying to show here in the top view is I've attached a, a lead to the voltage pot and using a resistance box I've looked for a, a value that gives me the right output and uh, you know, I'm trying to hold the camera and uh, or zoom in and show you how I've just tacked the lead onto the lower end of the adjustment pot. Right, here we can see the, uh, the board, a bit shaky. We can see where the resistor is going to go. That was We found the value with the pot. And that wire, that capacitor goes to the, white, to the right point on the pot. And the resistor below that point is 0 volts. So I'm just going to solder that in at that point there. So that, uh, you know, I'm going to be pulling the bottom of the pot down a bit harder. And we're just going to go backwards and forwards on the uh, resistor with a soldering iron to make sure that uh, the solder flow is all in the correct places. So that's the 0 volt connection getting a nice dab of solder on it. And then again, a bit more solder to make it look pretty. We just keep going backwards and forwards until I'm satisfied that both sides are nicely flowed on and ready to go. And once it's done, I'll just use the tone buzzer to uh, just check that that point there does in fact make contact to 0 volts, and that point doesn't. And then we move over to the resistor and make sure that the top of that resistor connects to the pot leg as intended. And then we are good to go. I'm sorry about the shadows. <coughs> right, putting it back together. One thing I noticed while taking this apart was there was a little cutout in the shielding, you know, insulating place for these two pots. Oops. And then I noticed there's a hole with some tape over it that matches up there. So It's got incredibly well made. Just catches in the corner. And four screws. Lost the screw. There it is. And now we have the moment of truth. Now might, might be a nice time to hit that subscribe button and click on that bell. I'll get the right voltage up. My room seems to have an excess of gravity at the moment. Every time I move something. 
and spawning off and going to the floor. It's falling down. Are we ready? And Can you see it? Thirteen point six. It won't quite do thirteen point eight. I got it to about thirty seven point nine and then the other voltage trip cut in and turned the output off. But I'm one point one five volts low for thirteen point eight. And it seems quite happy. So I'm going to leave it at that. I think that is a very quick mod. And I now have power supply. So we'll just write on here power supply set to 13. Point six five. Oh, come back six five. There we go, volts. Job done. Catch you on the next one. If you like the videos, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.